Number 22. Consider the baby being weighed in figure 4.33. Letter A. What is the mass of the child and basket if a scale reading of 55 newtons is observed? All right. So um, if a so for letter A, they're talking about a scale reading 55 newtons. Now that is a force, right? So the force pointing down for the baby is going to end this and the uh, basket, right? Is 55 newtons. Okay. And in other words, right, we could think of this as either uh, a W is equal to mg problem or, I mean, it's really the same thing, though, as uh, some of the force in the y direction, right, is equal to ma because the acceleration in the y direction as far as weight is concerned is gravity, right? So it really doesn't uh, matter how we view this. I could also call it W, 55 newtons, okay, because they're kind of they're kind of asking for a weight here, all right, but they're the same thing. So in other words, just considering the formula of W is equal to mg, and if the scale is showing a uh, weight of 55 newtons, right, that which should be equal to the mass of the a child in the basket multiplied by gravity, 9.80. So just divide out the 9.80, 9.80, and the mass now should be fairly straightforward. So 55 divided by 9.8, and it comes out to 5.6. So we got 5.6 kilograms. Okay. So now letter B, let's take a look. What is the tension, T1, in the cord attaching the baby to the scale? All right, so in the picture, here's the scale. Here's the baby. So we're looking for the tension in the middle, right? So basically, this is the system of the problem, the baby and the uh, basket. Okay, so if I had to draw now for letter B a free body diagram, it would look something like this, where the baby's weight right, is pointing straight down. That's the weight as equal to mg, which they told us before was 55 newtons. And then the tension is pointing straight up, right? So we're going to have a tension vector pointing now straight up. So that's T. And that's the question. All right. So now this is a y-dimension problem, so let's, let's use our Newton's second law in the y uh, direction is equal to may. Is there any acceleration in the problem? No, the baby's stationary, right? So this whole side goes to zero. So that means the sum of the forces in the y direction should equal zero. Now, what are the forces in the y direction? Well, it looks like we have a positive tension and a negative weight. So I could say t, t minus w is equal to zero. In other words, t is equal to w, and t is equal to then 55. So that's the tension. Not too bad. Letter now C. So what is the tension T2 in the cord attaching the scale to the ceiling if the scale has a mass of 0 0.500 kilograms? All right, so now the frame of the problem changes, and now we're looking at this tension up here, okay? So in order to understand now the frame of the problem, it's this whole thing that we're considering that's pulling down on this part of the rope. All right, so what that means now, when I draw my free body diagram for letter C, I'm gonna have now two weights pointing straight down. Okay, one weight will be the baby's weight that we have detailed in the prior problems. So that would be W is equal to 55 Newtons. And now we have another weight uh, attributable to the scale itself here which they told us has a mass of 0.5 kilograms, right? So that's fine to find the uh, force of that, right? Because remember that the weight of the scale here, I'll call it little s, would be equal to mg. What's the mass? Well, the mass is 0.5 kilograms, right? And g is gravity. So I could say w the weight of the spring should equal 0 0.500 multiplied by 9.80. So the weight of the spring there is going to be, so 0 0.5 times 9.8, so it's just half, right? Okay, so we get a value of 4.9. So this works out to be 4.9 newtons. That is the value of the weight of the uh, scale. Okay, so now, what's the force that's opposing those weights, the tension, right? The tension up here. Okay, so let's detail that tension 
in our free body diagram. So here, pointing straight up, that's now the tension. Okay, and now again, we're going to use the Y formula. So the sum of the forces in the Y direction will equal mass times the acceleration in the Y direction. But remember, there's no acceleration. This thing is stationary or it's not moving. So therefore, this whole side goes to zero. So now let's break up. So now we can write the sum of the forces in the Y direction should equal zero. Well, what are all the forces in the Y direction? We have a positive tension, a negative weight of the scale, and a negative weight of the baby. And that should all equal zero. So in other words, the tension should equal the weight of the scale plus the weight of the baby. All right, so now all we got to do is just plug some stuff in. So the weight of the scale we found to be 4.9 newtons, and the weight of the baby was 55. So just adding those all together now, we get a tension of basically fifth, right 59.9, so let's just call it 60, 60 newtons. Okay, and that's letter C. Now let's take a look at letter D. So we have, it says, draw a sketch of the situation indicating the system of interest. Okay, so we did that. So I like to do that basically for every uh, problem anyway. Okay, it's good habits to get into. It'll make it easier when the problems get a little more complex. Guys, thanks for checking out the video. I hope it helped. Uh, please do subscribe. That would mean a great deal. And uh, I thank you very much.